Hi, this is Christy Bryant and Susan Hammonds with the Best of Austin Living Team at Keller Williams Realty. We hope that you are doing really well. We are here today to share a quarterly update of what happened in um, actually 2019 in the Austin real estate market. We're also going to be looking at surrounding counties. And then Susan is going to have a little tidbit at the end about what? About how you can uh, buy another home even if you have to sell your home and you don't have to uh, ask a seller to take a contingency contract. Ooh, sounds good. So stay tuned and hear, hear what you can do to help yourself in that area. So first of all, yay for the Best of Awesome Living Team. We had an award ceremony at Keller Williams last week and we um, got a great award. So very excited about that. Thank you to all our friends, clients. Thank you for supporting our business. We appreciate that. And if you know somebody who's looking to buy or sell, we are here to help. So first, looking at the city of Austin for December 19 statistics. So looking at the median home price. So the median home price is $405,093, which is up by 8%. Yes, it keeps on going up in Austin, building that equity. Single family homes sold, 738, up by 8%. Average number of days spent on the market, 42 days, which was down by eight days. And then looking at the number of listings on the market, new listings in December, 394 was up just slightly. Active listings, 752, which was down by 29%. Uh, not a surprise since that is in the uh, peak holiday season. And then pending sales was down by 3% at 529. The total dollar volume of single family homes sold um, from December 18th to December uh, 2018 and 2019 was up by 22%, $378 million. That's a lot of homes. The months of inventory, 0.9 months. A balanced market is six months. So we st still are low inventory in Austin, the Austin area. Um, it is a seller's market. Looking on, the Austin area, 323000 for the median home price. And then looking at the number of homes sold, 2,608, which is up by 9%, 59 days on the market, which is down by eight days. And then looking towards the months of inventory, 1.7. So a little more balanced when you're looking at the Austin area outside of Austin. Looking specifically at Bastrop County, we have a couple of listings in Bastrop. Yay, Bastrop! A median home price, 234500 up by 2%. Uh, the number of homes sold in December was 86, down by 3%. And then the number of days on market, 83 days, which was up by 20. So um, that is uh, indicative that there's, you know, it takes a little bit longer to get it sold when it's outside of the city of Austin. Um, there we go. Sorry, had that a little too close. And then you'll see that the months of inventory is 3.3 months for Bastrop County. So it's a little bit more of a balanced market, but still it's less than six months. So it's still um, in general a seller's market. Looking at Williamson County, the median home price is 290000 <laughs> Which way do I go? Keep going. There we go. 290000 uh, $280, that's up by 4%. Average days on market, 63 days, which was down by 10 days. And then the uh, months of inventory, 1.8 months. So still a seller's market when you were looking at Williamson County. And then finally for Hayes County, median home price, 269,000, which is up by 1%. The number of homes sold was 279. And the average days on market, 72 days, which was down by 16 days. The months of inventory, 2.6 months. So looking here for Hayes County. If you have questions about specific areas, let us know. We're happy to get you that information. And Susan, tell us, if I am looking to sell my house and I wanna buy another house, do I have to move out first? How can I do that with the least impact on my family, to my life? What if, you know, I, it's just tough. How can I do that? Well, we've recently learned about a great program, which is new and that allows you to essentially be a cash buyer for another property. You can move into that other property and uh, you could even uh, take some money if you want to and uh, do some repairs before you move in. And then you close on the, on the other property. So we have all the details. It really makes it 
um, easy for somebody who needs to sell a home before they can buy another one. Because this market is so hot, uh, most sellers are not willing to take a contingency contract. So if you want more information about it, it's a new program, contact us and we'll give you all the details. So good to share information with y'all. We look forward to talking to you soon. Christy and Susan at the Best of Austin Living team at Keller Williams. You can find us at bestofaustinliving.com or 512-994-9206. See y'all soon. Bye. Bye.